Your Classical Storytime is supported by the Minnesota College Savings Plan, the official 529 program for the state of Minnesota. Learn how you can invest for your child's college education and minimize your taxes at mnsaves.org. Welcome to Your Classical Storytime. I'm John Nasukaluk Claire with Old Nasuk and the Flying Song. There once was an old fellow named Nasuk who really hated singing. Um. Whenever he heard people singing, he would get away as fast as he could. One day, Nasuk was at his hunting place off the coast, and he heard a couple people singing. He was prepared to hate it, as usual, but for some reason, he kind of liked it. Really liked it. So he followed the sound. It was coming from the crew of a boat, which was going up the river, against the wind, without being rowed. In fact, it seemed to be flying. It would somehow lift into the air, then sink back down to touch the water, but it was always moving ahead, even though the crew never touched their oars. He asked the crew if he could follow in his kayak, and they said, yes, but you must stay close. They tied his kayak to their boat and continued the song. Let us be taken aloft. I'm a kaha. Ah, ha, ha. Up rose the boat, and Nasuk's kayak along with it. Their song carried them to a very high mountain, where they stopped to enjoy the view and rest for a while before continuing their journey. From their boats in the sky, they followed the path of the river, up up, up as it became a stream, then a brook, then just a cold spring flowing from a single crack in the mountain. They sang themselves to earth there, a small village with several cozy houses out of which the crew members' families were spilling with joyful greetings. They welcomed old Nasuk warmly and invited him to stay. Nasuk liked them very much and stayed for some time, listening to their stories and telling his own. He even learned their magic song, which was quite something for someone who really hated singing. After a while, Nasuk started missing his family. He figured they were missing him too, and probably more than a little concerned about what had happened to him, so he decided to go home. His new friends filled up his kayak with food and supplies for his journey and wished him well as he pointed his kayak homeward and sang his way into the sky. As he passed the high mountain where they'd rested before, Nasuk thought he'd take a break there as well. After a nap, He wanted to be off again, but realized he'd forgotten the song. He tried and tried to remember for hours before giving up and sitting down in his kayak with a harumph. But the kayak wasn't steady on the steep mountainside, and when he sat down so grumpily, it started to slide. Faster and faster it slid down the rocky path, till suddenly... There was no path at all, and Nasuk and his kayak tumbled into the empty air. He tried to catch hold of the proper words and sang, Imakara. No, not quite that. Kanahaha. No, that's not it either. Nasuk began to cry. 
he got closer and closer to the jagged stones at the foot of the mountain, he finally remembered the song and was again sailing through the air. He was so relieved he wanted to sing a song of joy, but he figured he should probably continue with the magic flying music. Nasuk was delighted when at last he saw his village. His friends and family had given him up for lost. They were gathered outside his house when someone happened to see the strangest thing. Is that a flying kayak? They were even more shocked to recognize old Nasuk, who smooth as you please steered his kayak through the crowd and right into his own front door. It came to a gentle stop right against the wall of the room, and Nasuk breathed a sigh of relief. That was his first and last journey through the air, because never again could he remember the magic song. But there were plenty that he did remember, and old Nasuk sang happily ever after. The End Thanks for listening to your classical story time from APM American Public Media.